Hello everyone and welcome to Kayla's Mesh Mixer Tutorials. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the plane cut as well as the mirror tool. So for today I'm just going to give you a little basic bowl that I have lying around in case I ever want to make any pottery and a letter K just because I wanted to show the results. So when first thing you want to do is make sure you have the letter or whatever shape you're going to use where you want it. And to do that, the best thing to do is go into the shaders, as you saw here, grab this little guy here, and drag him over, and he makes it so you can see through the object. It's almost like a ghosting feature. I really enjoy it. It helps a lot. So, what we do here is we make sure the K is lined up the way you want it. It's not going to cut through a hole in the bowl, because you really don't want anything leaking out now, do you? Once you're happy, go back to whatever shader you like the best. I like the plain clay tool. And you're going to select both of them. Make sure you select the bowl object first and then the K or else it's not going to do this correctly. And Boolean difference the item in. Now you're going to see it gave me a nice cute cut of the letter K. And we're going to click accept because I like the way it looks. From here now you're like, oh, how am I going to get the K on the other side perfectly even the exact same as it was? Well, that's very easy. First, we're going to go to the plane cut tool. And the plain cut is going to delete whatever mesh I don't see fit. You're going to get it as close to a 90 degree angle as you can. You don't got to get it exact, which is pretty nice. I'm just going to try to get it pretty close. So 90.9, .9, that's good. Now, whatever you see that's ghosted out is going to disappear. So you want to make sure you have the right side staying. So I now have my K side staying and this side disappearing. You're going to click Accept, and make sure it's on Remeshed Fill, so it fills up the hole. So now you can see it's perfectly filled up, all nice and good. And what we're going to do is now we're going to click Mirror. So Mirror is going to actually make a duplicate copy. So we're going to rotate it to where we see happy. Alright, try to get it as close to 90 as you can. You can always go back and rotate it more later, and you're going to drag it back. Right, so I'm just going to flip this over. I'm going to drag it back, forward. As you can see, that's not working. So what you got to do is you got to make sure you've rotated it the right way. It does take a little bit of getting used to, but once you've gotten it, you've gotten it. Now you're going to pull a little bit further away to make sure that you can try to line it up good. That's good, and always give yourself a little bit of an overlap, just to fill out any inconsistencies. So now you can see there's a letter K on both sides of the bowl. You click accept, and it actually fuses it as one object together. So when you, just in case you feel uneasy, go to analysis and click inspector, there's actually no holes in the mesh and nothing to refill. Me, my safety precaution, I love going to edit and make solid. So that way it's once again one cohesive shape. I know I have it all down. I know it's all good. I always ramp up the solid accuracy. Update it like usual so it stays nice and neat and clean. And I click it, the mesh density afterwards because it's not good to run both getting updated at the same time. Older computers, it will crash your system. So just be careful there. Because you really don't want to crash and lose all the work you've made. My note for that is constantly keep saving. I save about every three minutes. That way I don't lose all the work I've progressed. So now it's just a matter of waiting for it to update the collapsed items. As you can see the mesh density does take a little bit of a while. This is why I never do the two of them together. And then I click accept, and we are all good to go. And now that I have that, as you can see, the problem is with the mirror tool, if you're using any letters or numbers, 
they are going to appear in reverse. So my trick is if you're going to use the mirror tool, try not to use letters or names or numbers or anything that you don't want to see flipped in reverse unless you're okay with that and you want the name to continuously go around like it's following a pattern. Which is a pretty neat idea to try, but it's really hard to make it go off well. But anyways, that's the ways to use the mirror and the plane cut in order to make a perfectly symmetrical object. Thank you so much, and see you next time.